Welcome into my room. Now, if most of you guys follow me on Twitter, oh, you can't even see my head. Most of you guys follow me on Twitter, and you know lately I've been uh, talking a lot about clothes and shoes. And uh, the past couple, I guess you could say, months, years, I've gotten really into my clothing, uh, stepped my swag up, a lot of that different stuff. So today I figured, since you guys see what I like on Twitter, I figured I'm going to show you what I actually have currently in my house. My shoes, to my jewelry, hats, some of the clothes I work out in. I like to um, work, I work on all superhero stuff just because... I like to think I'm a superhero in the gym. <laughs> Makes me feel a little, a little different. Anyways, I'm going to show you some of my clothes. I hope you guys enjoy. And tell me what you have. Let's start this motherfucking video. Okay, guys. First thing first, I figured I'd show you my jewelry. Keep all my jewelry in this box right here. Um, you guys are pretty far away. I'm going to go ahead and bring you guys a little closer. Uh, I'm recording this with my laptop, so maybe the camera angles might be a little uh, awkward or different. I apologize for that. I don't have a, uh, an actual digital camera. The light from outside is pretty bright. Nice day. It picks about 8 degrees. Let me turn around so you can see the box. This is my jewelry box. This thing right here. I have a Hitmon chain on it. Don't ask why. Go ahead and just show you guys. Besides, this is the one uh, piece of jewelry I never take off. It's just a good luck charm. It is Jesus on a cross you can kind of see I'm trying to get it to focus Jesus on the cross I always keep this on just for good luck I shower with it sleep with it everything else with it uh, keep that on show you all my jewelry now growing up I was very into rosaries like in high school I was very into rosaries even though you, they weren't made to be worn I, uh, I used to use them as like a style they were used to pray a nice little words where he has a Jesus face. Um, try to get the focus. Has a Jesus face. This is a black one with the cross. With the, uh, Jesus um, on the cross as well. Nice black rosary. Um, uh, sorry if I sound a little under the weather. Um, I have uh, pretty much bad allergies. Allergies kicking my um, butt. Here's a gold one. This isn't a Jesus face. There's a big Jesus on the cross. You can kind of see to the side. Hopefully it's good good lighting. See, Jesus on the cross has some diamonds around it. And he also on the bottom on the cross as well. This is a gold rosary. Like I said, I used to uh, be very into rosaries. It was just something uh, I liked. I was always into... Uh, more more religious chains than rather uh, bugs bunnies and guns all that type of stuff I know you guys can't see my face but you get the idea right all right next um, chain I have a, a prayer hand necklace this is rather old some um, I had this for quite some years some of the diamonds fell off I'm not sure if the charm was real I know the chain is real uh, I uh, actually broke some of the um, chain off but um that's that necklace thing. One of my favorite ones, that part of the, when I first started my collection, was this rope. I got this in Texas, ordered it offline. It's a silver rope, 925 sterling silver reel. It's still a little cold when you put it on. This is how it looks on me if you want to see. My gates to sweat. Uh, 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 mmm. Mmm. Just part of my gangster. But I just, uh, I always like to collect jewelry. This is my rope. Next piece we have, uh, I don't really wear too much um, hand on accessories, but I do have a watch. It's a Peter, a Peter Rolex. I wear this whenever I'm getting dressed up, suits, uh, business interviews, anything I need to put on shirt and tie. I always have on this watch, Peter Rolex watch. I'm right handed, so I put my watch on my left hand. Peter Rolex watch had that for for a couple years as well. Um, also have a bracelet. <laughs> you guys know it by now. I love silver. <laughs> I'm not really too into gold. I'm more of a silver person. I have another uh, bracelet, sterling silver bracelet. Nice little uh, bracelet. Could also use as brass knuckles. Don't give me any ideas. There's a couple people I'll probably want to use that on. Um, uh, the last drawer I have. This is would be one of my, I guess you could say, even though it's still cross, but it's more of my wrapper. I have a black and gold cross. Um, you can see it's 
silver just this isn't real I believe I just bought this just for fun's sake because I look I like how it had the uh, like the yellow cross with the black diamonds and on the back of it it has a whole bunch of like stars and moon patterns so I just like that that it was different but it, it isn't real like most of my other uh, chains are real but except for that one of uh, the pieces that isn't real the first rosary I got was I got as a Christmas present when I was in the 12th grade best friend gave it to me black and silver rosary this one actually has a cross it's not like nobody on the cross is a big piece it's a cross like on a silver or, um, or like a medallion type thing and another Jesus piece with the bottom black and uh, black and silver rosary pretty nice I actually I uh, actually like that rosary as well and that's pretty much all all my uh, all my jewelry uh, components besides my, my dog tank my two most precious um, pieces that I do not wear just because I don't want to mess up they're a little dusty right now there's my grandma's dog tag Francine person also on my right arm Francine black but also then the left the other dog tag is my great granddad Samuel he's also the person on my left arm you can see right there that's basically all my jewelry I did when I was in Akron <laughs> just for um, shits and giggles I did buy a grill you will never see me wear this in public ever. Just uh, get up. I'll put it in so you guys can see. And here's what it looks like a grill. Uh, I never wore it too much, so I can't really talk with it. Because <laughs> I'm not used to having it in. I never, like I said, I never actually wore it. I just bought it for shits and giggles. But that's my jewelry set. Next, we can go. Oh, let me go down. Let's fuck. And that was my jewelry set. Next thing I would like to show you guys is my shoe collection. Now, I'm not a big sneaker here. But I have a, a little decent <laughs> amount of shoes. Let's go ahead and check those out. Okay, now you can see those are all my shoe boxes. About 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. About 12 boxes of shoes. I have some that fit away the boxes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put, you, put this table so you guys can get a, um, a, clear, a clear view of my shoes. Like I said, I'm not a sneakerhead. I have some nice shoes. These, I actually threw away the box. I can see these. In a plastic, these are my polo boots, my winter polo boots. Um, I wonder if I can get a little bit of better lighting over here. Um, hold on, let me see if I can maybe, maybe get just a little bit of better lighting. Um, give me a second. I think this is pretty good, pretty good lighting. Yeah, like I said, these are my polo boots, Ralph Lauren polo. You can see the uh, polo right there. The polo signal on there. They are zip up. Zip. They have to zip them up. They're not tied. Got these last year. Pretty decent price polo by Ralph Lauren. So those are my my, my main winter boots. Go ahead and show you guys the next pair of shoes. Like I said, I'm not <laughs> a real, real, real crazy big sneakerhead. But I definitely have a little nice collection. So I'm going to go ahead and start from right to the bottom. This box is empty. These are my gym shoes. I can go ahead and show you these uh, since these are just laying around. Uh, the shoes I wear to, uh, to gym and to work. Gym, work, and uh, where I just go out and just want to throw, throw a pair of quick shoes. These are my work shoes. These are just some griffies I had some black griffies there are tore up <laughs> so I just wear these to work overnight I work night shifts so I don't need to uh, look too impressive I just wear basically wherever I want to go in pajamas sometimes these are probably one of my favorite shoes even though these are kind of tore up I, these are um, a little wet <laughs> kind of uh, got wet yesterday these are 60 pluses these are not Jordan 5's they look like the 5's are just called 60 pluses these came out my in uh, 2010 I got mine around May or so I believe they came out in February Jordan Plus is black, red, and yellow they look just like five they're not fives you can see um, they are like kind of Jordan has the Air, Air Jordan all that on it Jordan on the bottom these are 60 pluses so if you guys want um, any 60 plus you have to uh, search um, Jordan 60 plus these are my just my gym shoes, just a regular pair. I believe it's a dual, dual fusion. Yeah, dual fusion. Just some 
regular gym shoes, running shoes. There's nothing uh, too spectacular about my Jones. Let's go ahead and um, and just get into the shoes. Now, some of the shoes I haven't even yet to wear. Like these, I just purchased these about maybe a month ago. These black and pink Nike Air Max. Um, I believe they're 90s. They're also known as Deion Sanders. Black and pink. Uh, pink all around. Like has like a little uh, like tiger mark. These are definitely sweet. And you know, I will show you guys why I purchased these in a second when you see what's in my closet. I wear a ten and a half. You see the bottom, black and pink. These are definitely nice, nice mid top shoes. Nike Air Max 90s. I think I paid made like 110 or 90 for them. Can't I uh, can't actually remember. So don't quote me on that. Another box, another Jordan box. I, I wear a lot of Jordans and a lot of Nike. So I'm just telling you guys before that. I got these when I graduated. One or two shoes I bought with a little bit of graduation money. Graduation money, my Cardinals, Jordan Sevens. They're still in pretty much decent condition since I having them for 2011. It's coming 2015. Jordan 7s, airbag. Like I said, I love Jordans. Um, I just don't want to pay <laughs> all the money for a pair of Jordans all the time. But these are still clean, um, still pretty decent shape. They're still white. They haven't uh, turned yellow like most shoes. I still wear those to this day. Next pair of shoes. Like I said, sorry guys, I'm uh, a little under the weather. Allergies been killing me. Now these are the first pair of Air Max 90s I got last year I need a new pair of black and white shoes so I got just a black and white um, Air Max 90s like I said they're also called Deion Sanders all black with like the white stripes little, little yellow check has like a, a check on the front I pretty like these they're they're really they're cheap I think I paid 90 for these or stuff like that these are really cheap Air Max 90s these are, these are really cheap and they're, uh, and they're a little bit stylish Love my Nikes, can't get wrong, they're pretty comfortable too. Next pair of shoes. Uh, well, some of my boxes are a little tore up. Now, these don't not go in this box. <laughs> I just have some Nikes, just some dunks, just some regular Nikes. I used to use these for like gym shoes, just to hoop in or, or outdoor activities. Nothing really for stylish. I just got them just to have them. Nothing stylish at all. Oh, shoes about to fall down. Hold on, I'm having a mishap. Just stay like this for a couple seconds. Alright, so before the shoes uh, on the box start to tumble, the last pair of shoes, like this box is, is beyond <laughs> horrible. But here's my butters. Uh, I barely wear these. I'm not too much of a boot person. I like, to, I love having a tennis shoe on my feet. It's just how I am. I'm not really too much of a butter person, but I do own a pair of Tim's. Still in good condition. I had these since I was in uh, 12th grade as well. I take good care of my stuff. I don't just um, throw stuff, um, throw, um, tear stuff up. Stuff costs way too much money nowadays to just be um, be just ruining it. <laughs> so easy. So if you're going to buy some shoes, take good care of them. That's, that's only right. Put these back in the closet. Hold on. Uh. Alright, that's one shot and here's a little bit more of my little more stylish shoes. First pair. Got a lot of people don't like air diamond turfs, but I actually like these. These are these are very comfortable and I like them. Nice low cut air diamond turf, black and red. They go with a lot of uh, a lot of things I like to wear. I like black is my favorite color. He's black, red, and gold. I like his little uh, has a strap. You could uh, decide to wear them strapless, unstrapless. However you want to wear them. Nice little tag. These are definitely comfortable. To me, they're comfortable. Nice uh, little stylish type shoe. Nike Air Diamond Turf. Um, I think those are maybe Speed Turf or Air Diamond Turf too. Can't can't really remember. The shoe that I pay the most money for in this closet. I will probably never ever ever pay this much for some shoes again. When I want something I want it and I wanted these bad and I couldn't find them. I saw them on Nike.com for $160. Didn't snatch it, missed out on it. They were sold out. Saw um like a couple I thought I thought about getting those um 
those fours that came out, those black and white Oreos fours, but I didn't uh, want to get those, so I decided to go ahead and buy me some KD's. The guy I know on Twitter, I saw him post a picture, and I fell in love with them. KD's Black History Month. I paid two twenty for these. They are pretty nice, though. I can't lie. They're definitely uh, nice. They're clean. I like the I like the checker type pattern has on the thing. I even like the laces. I like everything about these shoes. They're they are definitely different. I'm not. I don't really like low tops. I do own uh, quite a pair of low tops. Um, but these are definitely probably one of my favorite shoes. I wore these once about two weeks ago when I was to go see um, Avengers. These are these are definitely nice. I, I like these. Black Christmas Month paid two hundred twenty dollars for. Them. Most people sorry say I paid that for like all my shoes. Well, I salute you, brother. <laughs> Next pair of shoes, got about two more boxes to go. Got these, these are the other pair of shoes I got when I graduated. Um, Nike Air Max 24-7s, just gray, orange, and and like a tad bit black. I, I definitely like these when I had bought them. These are still in pretty good condition. I don't wear these too much anymore, but I still have them in the closet if I ever um, need to get anything to match them. I definitely still have them. Nike Air Max 24-7s, and these are... I actually really really like Griffey's black and um red Kim Griffey Jr. twos. These are these are the regular ones like you saw over there. These are the twos. It has like 24 on the side. I like these a lot. They come in like the black and silver color, the like the black and blue. I, I like it in this pattern of I'm getting um uh Twitter <laughs> notifications, just gotta make sure it's not nothing important. But I definitely like these Griffey's, they're nice and comfortable. And they go with a lot. And I'm more into um, mid top kind of high top shoes just because I don't like that, 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 just that low cut feeling on my foot. You know what I mean? How I just feel a comfortable. Last pair of shoes, another pair similar to the black and red, the black and red one. Have another pair of like diamond turfs. These are uh, black and blue and white. These are a little bit different made, but I still definitely like these. I've worn these maybe about five times. I haven't worn them in a while. I don't think I've worn them all this whole year, to be honest. Or maybe I might have worn them once. I, I can't remember. I think I may have worn these on Valentine's Day. And I'll show you the jacket that um that I got these to match with when I show you my closet. But these are pretty nice too. Nice little tag. Nike check. You can unstrap it, strap it, however you want to rock it. Air at the bottom. Definitely nice for shoes. I paid around like 100 for these. A, a lot of these shoes I got for about $100. You can use coupons. Fullocker.com. All that good stuff. You get a lot of coupons off. That's basically all my shoes. I believe I don't think you guys want to see my socks. I just wear a lot of Nike socks. I have some Nike Elite socks. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start showing you guys some of my clothes. Ooh. Let's go. Okay, now I have to go in my dirty clothes. I just wanted to show you guys these a pair of Bulls joggers I got from Route 21. Uh, these are like a galaxy type pattern. I wore these on uh, last Friday, so I still haven't washed them yet. They're in dirty clothes. Nice bulls, joggers, black, red, and like galaxy type pattern. Only paid about fifteen dollars for those. I got the matching uh, D Rose shirt, just the regular T-shirt. I'm not really too into basketball jerseys anymore. I rather wear the T-shirt or the Christmas jersey. I like the V-necks. I like those. I have um, some shorts. I have a lot of Nike shorts, but who cares about all that? So let's get in the closet. Uh, now half of this stuff I haven't even worn yet, guys. Let me uh, move you guys just a tad bit back so you can kind of see. Um, my face and I guess oh shit the laptop almost it was almost curtains for the laptop let me see can you guys see me now that's pretty good alright so like I said I haven't even worn half this stuff oh I haven't I didn't show you guys my hats yet oh man I'm messing up all, I'm messing up all kinds of crazy I have uh, about five main hats I wear haven't even worn uh, some of them yet I have on one uh, just a regular black Nike hat <laughs> kind of see just a regular black Nike hat still have the tag on it some shoes I mean some uh, hats I like my Puma hat goes with a shirt that's in my closet USA there's nothing wrong with record where you're from I'm from America USA Puma hat navy blue red and white got that last year in July I have a USA Nike all red hat I bought that uh, earlier this year to go with the shirt that I will show you guys earlier USA has the stars on the USA letter I wear, I like a lot of Nike hats, baseball caps, I don't wear too much fitted. White Puma hat, never wore, got this last year. Still has the price tag on it, still has the, the thing on the inside. I have yet to wear this. I'm I'm going to wear this whenever I get a, um, I have to buy some white Levi's, probably some white forces. I'm going to wear that, this. 
have um, uh, like a soccer type uh, Nike hat, black and white one. It's um, VSR Nike VRN. I think it's like a volleyball type or no, it's, it's, it's a golf type hat. It's just like a baseball cap. I love nothing but Nike. And I have one bucket hat, Pittsburgh Pirates. I just ordered this a couple weeks ago. Uh, I'll show you. I, everything I have goes with something. Nice uh, pirate bucket hat, little safari type hat. Probably gonna wear this this weekend, whenever I go um, to the zoo or whatever with my girlfriend. Nice pirates, uh, even though the pirates are absolutely horrible, but <laughs> that's okay. Cause I, I'm not really too much into baseball. It's not enough. Um, what'd you say? Uh, not enough action for me. I like like football, basketball. I like a more more action uh, pack sports. Hold on, let me just put all these um, hats away. Then we can get back on. Let me show you guys my closet. I don't want to keep you guys uh, too long so you guys get bored. But I think I probably have a little bit of nice, a little, a little bit of nice thing. I'm not, I'm not rich or nothing like that. But I do like some of my clothes. Uh, I start off with this little polo jacket, RX jacket I have. Girlfriend bought this for me for Valentine's Day 2014 last year Valentine's Day nice uh, Ralph, Ralph Lauren polo jacket RX a little too hot for that now got some um, zippers up the top that have no uh, pocket stuff still very nice only jeans I have uh, I threw away a lot of my jeans they um uh, just I kind of outgrew them so I have to go buy a little more jeans but the only type of jeans I have I wear are Levi's I have two pair um, of black oh excuse me I have two pair of black Levi's one or five of ones with the squiggly pattern on them, you can see those. I have just another pair of just regular black Levi's. These I haven't even wore yet. I bought these around around March. Haven't even wore yet. Squiggly line, um, black Levi's. Ugh. I definitely love Levi's, and if you if you own a pair of Levi's, especially the black ones, then you know you do not wash your Levi's at all, because they will not be black at all. They uh they turn uh, a different color. My girlfriend's calling me. I'm gonna go ahead and answer. See you guys to see him. Put on a speaker. Tell her she's fucking up production. Let's see what she says. Hello? 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 Yeah, what's up? Hi. Hi, babe. I'm, uh, I'm making a video. Let me call you right back real quick. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Alright, back to the clothes. Another pair of jeans I have, or like these leather type jeans. Another squiggly pattern. These are black with a zipper. These are these are more fashionable, more fashionable than uh than my uh, just regular black leather. I, I shop a lot at Macy's. So if you guys are wondering where you could buy a lot of this stuff at, I said I shop a lot at Macy's. Um, trying to make sure that these Levi's are in here nice so they don't get um or wrinkly and stuff. I like to keep my stuff smooth. Uh, so let's go with a little bit of shirts. A little bit of shirts. This is the shirt that I was telling you about. I got the red um, hat to match USA polo V neck. Nice um, like Sigma USA number sleeve on the back USA. Here's what I wanted to wear with all white. I got the white Puma hat to go with this. I haven't even wore this yet. Nice Puma shirt. And then here's the other Puma shirt that matches the other hat. Everything I have is usually a one-two punch. I have a lot of things that match with each other. Just uh, how I like to um, to shop. I, I don't like to uh, to buy something and then just try to match it with something in my room. I like to already have something and then try to coordinate it with it. You, you guys know what I'm saying. Um, next up, the polos, a little bit of jackets. Let's go. I'm trying to go through this as fast as possible so I don't take too long. Not a Capola right here. It's a little more classier, more professional type uh, polo, college preppy. I have just a little uh, hoodie. Nothing. That's nothing special. I have a leather sleeveless jack uh, hoodie. Nice. I got this last year for Waters for my birthday. I wore this maybe twice. Um, show off the gains. Nice leather jacket. You don't want to wear that when it's too hot. You'll be burning all kinds of crazy. Mario hoodie. Got that when I was in high school. Still, still have it. Not too. Uh, nothing wrong with just. Swagging a little bit of Mario every now and then. You just gotta be able to pull it off. And just a tank top New England Patriots. Fucking cheaters. <laughs> Sorry for all my Patriots fans out there. I'm just playing. 
I mean, I, nah, I mean, I just worry about what the Steelers do. Tom Brady got suspended four games, I guess. Let's try to put all this stuff back in the closet <laughs> in a uh, reasonable fashion. Show some more stuff. Whoop. Tank top falling down. Come on. Oh, uh, I got a Nike tank top. This goes with those shoes I showed you, like those red and black ones. I had those shoes first, and I happened just to see this. I got that one at the Kitty one last year. Remember I showed you that Pirates bucket? This is what this is going for. It's going to match with the Pirates and tank top. Mitchell and Ness. I got a lot of, um, I've been doing a lot of summer shopping. I want to wear a lot of V-necks, a lot of tank tops. Stuff that keeps me warm. I wore this on Valentine's Day, Nike sweatshirt. Has like a little black, um, like, like a polka dot type pattern. It's a pretty nice. Definitely like that. It's clothes is heavy. Uh, dressy sweater. Got this from Route 21. So believe it or not, I spent like five dollars on this. Definitely nice though. Nice and comfortable. And black and pink. Um, what's that? It's not black. It's gray. Gray and pink. Uh, Nike hoodie. You can see the pink. It has like a pink hoodie. I haven't worn this yet. That's what um supposed to go with those black and pink shoes I showed you. I just have haven't. It hasn't been cold enough to wear. It, it kind of got hot on us real fast. And I'm not about to wear no hoodie in no 80 degree weather. I'm, I'm sorry. It's just not going to happen. Uh, let's look a little bit more. Uh, I'll definitely like to know what you guys like to wear. Uh, I like to wear just a lot of different style of everything. Another a Nike Elite hoodie. You, I've never seen nobody with a Nike Elite hoodie. You can even see uh, on the back it has the Elite um, markings. And on the sleeve, on the sleeve it has Elite. I've never seen nobody with a Nike Elite hoodie. Akron hoodie, nothing special. Just uh, the school I went to, nothing uh, too, too big. Uh, Brazil jacket, black and yellow Brazil jacket. Can I see CBF? Uh, I'm not too into soccer. I just happen to have on a Brazil jacket. ESPN hoodie. Now, a lot of people like this. Even when I wore the shirt, it's on Twitter. My ESPN breast cancer hoodie. I'm sure you guys what the ESPN stands for. I'm not going to read it out loud. You can go ahead and read it yourself. But <laughs> I only wear this around certain groups of people. Here, you go ahead and read it. And let me move out the strings for you. Breast cancer awareness. That's definitely, I like that hoodie a lot. This is a jacket um, I wore. The, this is not a shirt behind it. This is a different shirt. This is a jacket I wore. I wore those blue shoes I was telling you about. Was it kind of matches the Indian guy. So you just got to be able to stack your swag. Well, even has a little bit of color uh, effects to it. You just got to be able to swag it. Not a cup polo. Another just classic stuff. Like, like you don't want to be over the top all the time. You want to be able to have some stuff in your arsenal where you could just um, keep it classy. You know, um, dress up every now and then. Uh, but at the same time, still look, look, look really nice and uh, preppy. Like I said, I, I do a lot of my shopping at Macy's. I'm sure you guys have a Macy's wherever you live. Damn, hell, hold, hold on, fucking clothes got my arms sore. I just came back from the gym. I sound like a little kid. Almost done with the closet. Uh, I'm sure you guys. Yeah, I'll show you. Troy Palmolo. I'll just rest, show you guys the rest of the cool stuff. Troy Palmolo, Bumblebee jersey. I'm sad that he had to go. I definitely wish he would have stayed. One of my. It's, it's going to be so weird. Just growing up and seeing the player you grew up watching, who was one of the most electrifying players, just gone. Um, <laughs> Nike, just a regular Nike shirt, just an orange check mark goes with those shoes, those black and orange shoes I have. I have an old navy orange hoodie, you guys kind of see. Uh, I don't want to show you guys everything because you probably want to see all the cool stuff. Old navy hoodie. I have a Tommy Hilfiger polo. I got a lot of like a lot of polos, black and red. Might probably wear this sometime soon. Um, haven't worn this in a while. And here are my inappropriate shirts. Uh, shirts I only wear around people my uh, age. I don't want to wear these around nobody's parents or nothing. But you read this shirt. I have the dicks. I make the rules. You can buy all these at Spencer's. Um, I'm hungry. Where the fuck is the pussy? <laughs> like I said, you can buy all these at Spencer's. I have a couple. And then just a, uh, instead of North Face, it's Hey Fuck Face. Like I said, I, have, uh, I don't wear those unless I'm um, unless I'm around people my age because those are disrespectful. Um, I have some long sleeve shirts. I have a Taylor Gang shirt. 
got this last year just a tailor gang three three fourths um of a sleeve shirt tailor gang instead of power slow tailor i went with that now with that bucket but it's uh, a little too hot so i have to order me like a tailor gang um just regular baseball i mean just a regular t-shirt now here's some jeans i haven't even wore bought these earlier this year, a couple of months ago these baby blue they're like baby blue i don't have no like blue jeans i bought these baby blue jeans but i really bought them because they have like you know like people have like the holes in them like these already came with like holes so i don't have to have nobody make them if you kind of see like they already have holes in them these are definitely sweet um uh it's probably I'm, i wanted to wear these before it hit summer but unfortunately like i said the heat when the heat came it came fast nice blue blue type jeans definitely nice i have some cargos like some cargo pants i don't wear um like straight cars i can wear the more wrinkly ones if you don't know what i'm talking about i'll show you i also have a pair of levi's i bought in 2012 and have never put them on yet and i put them on in the store to make sure they fit but i never wore them yet anywhere they still have the price tag and everything on them a pair of 501 jeans these are like a greenish type color that they were, I'm going to get a yellow Brazil V-neck shirt to go with this, the polo. This will go with this real nice with a nice one of those butters. You got to be able to dress. Uh, these are 50% off. You can still see the price tag and everything on them. <laughs> Bought these are 2012. Haven't worn them. I just haven't. I don't have nothing in my closet currently to really go with it how I, how I want. So I just so I just kept them uh, up there. I haven't worn them yet. But I will definitely be wearing these in, a, in an October or so. Um, some red cargo pants, black cargo pants, you can kind of see, there's nothing uh, spectacular, just some jeans, more Levi's, black Levi's, camel shorts, white cargos, black cargos, and uh, one of the things <coughs> that I like, that I don't wear no more, my great granddad passed when I was in 8th uh, grade, I got a shirt made with him on it, and loving memory of Samuel Williamson, it might be a little too bright, hold on, let me see. If I close the curtains, you can kind of see. You can kind of see. What do you got? That was like my dad. Um, most of you guys know my story. You know it. Whether or not, I'm not really going to try to get into anything. That's in my closet. Uh, one thing I'm missing out of my closet. That I took out that I'm probably not going to wear no more. Just going to get hang up. When I turned 16, I got a jersey um, custom made for me. My name on the back, Steelers jersey number one. It's like I was getting drafted, stitched and everything. It says no, no, lick them, stick them. This is stitch, fucking wear. Just playing. But it's stitch wear NFL equipment. It isn't the official one with the tight sleeves, but it's just the one right below that. But it's still stitch and official. Got this made at the Pittsburgh Steelers Style Store in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I think it cost like around 180. The one with the, with the tight sleeves was maybe um, 275. I can't, I, I can't remember. It's been a while since I've been there. But I actually got this jersey a little too big, so that's another reason why I don't wear it. Cause I like my stuff a little uh, tight. I don't like my stuff uh, saggy at all. So that's another reason why I don't really wear that. But other than that, that's basically my, my, uh, my, my clothing collection. See my jewelry, see my shoes. Tell me what you guys think. I hope I didn't take too much time of your time. I hope you guys enjoy what I have. I also on the screen right now some shoes that just my girlfriend just bought me for my birthday. Thank you for it very much. Hope you guys like that. You'll see the shoes at the end. Hey! Skip fucking daddle. <laughs> Skip fucking daddle!